All right, looks like Falkreath is in that direction. The other way is Riverwood. Which I have no business being in right at the moment, but that's fine. Oh, good. A very interesting bird, actually. Oh, someone's camped out over there. I bet it's the hunter that we saw earlier. There goes an elk. Or a deer, or a reindeer, or whatever those are called. Oh, looks like there's something up here. Yeah, I'm going to stay out of their way. They look like storm cloaks, and I don't think they take kindly to an Imperial such as myself being here. I've heard enough that I'm willing to be cautious. Oh, look at this. I'm willing to be cautious. Uh, especially of storm cloaks. They're gonna move on, I think. Uh, uh, hello. Um, okay, what happened here? First Helgen, now this. Right, well. I seem to have walked directly into a war zone. I'm starting to regret my decision. Somebody left a dwarven sword here. That strikes me as a little bit, um... Oh, that's what happened here. Thalmor orders. I will take that and I will take your potions. Because you don't need them anymore. Uh, where did I just put that? <clears throat> Let's see. There we go. Thalmor orders. Agent Sanyan, in response to your report dated 22nd Morningstar 401, your request for an expeditionary force is hereby denied. Sanyan, this is the seventh, seventh. This is the seventh report you have filed this month, and not one of your leads, not one, has turned up so much as a shred of evidence that a Talos shrine exists in the Lake Illinolta region. No prisoners, no documents, nothing. Our forces are stretched thin as it is. Interesting. And I have better missions, better agents to assign them to. If you feel so sure of your informant, investigate this yourself. Come back with proof or not at all. By my hand and seal. Ellen Wynn. That's interesting. So we have Thalmor agents operating in Skyrim. Huh. And their forces are apparently spread thin. Well, they'd do well to pull Armion and his other goon out of, um, out of Bruma then. Causing havoc. Although, you never know, it could be that they were sent to Bruma as punishment for something. <laughs> Oh, looky, there's the uh, Stormcloaks again. Yeah, he looks like a scary fellow. Um, good morning. Uh, what, um, what are they doing? Morning. If you know any you true uh... sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Uh, right, will do. Nice beard. Ah, uh, well, they seem to be rather effective at killing spiders, at least. I don't think I've ever seen a spider that big, honestly. Ugh. So I will try to keep them in front of me while I... have a gander around, actually. Look at that! Is that a... Is that a fox? Swimming backwards? Or is that his tail sticking out of the water? Nope, that was a, um... That was a fox. Interesting. Alright then. Moving along. So there are Thalmor in Skyrim. Uh, I don't know if there's an em- I'm, I'm sure there must be an embassy here if there are... 
You can see the barrow from here. That's very... Very cool. What was I thinking about? Right. Thalmor. So... There's a castle under the water over there. Well, alright then. Um... Skeever, I think. Help. Is that what they called you? Somebody help. Well... Rather jumpy Skeever. <laughs> right, because the Skeevers in Skyrim and rats pretty much everywhere else. How do they get Skeevers in, uh, in High Rock, actually? Or Morrowind? Well, I... <laughs> They don't really get much of anything in Morrowind anymore, but, um, we'll not go there. Well, there's a boat. Uh, interesting. Okay. Moving on. Hello, Fox. Thalmor in Skyrim. Oh! And hunters, apparently. Hunters all over the place. Are we friendly? Oh, whoa, hello. The master has gone, but Dervenin will find him. Dervenin should not have gone. You what? Don't go to the, don't go to the Blue Palace. Vacation is where the head is. That is what Dervenin told us about our master. He's cozy in his solitude. Um... All right then, is this your kill? Well, that's... Okay, right. I feel like I've just stepped into a completely different world. Well, aside from the Thalmor, the Thalmor seem to be um, ubiquitous. There's skeletons up on that hill. Why are there skeletons up on that hill? I smell necromancy. Ah, there's one. Hello! Goodbye. There was another one. There he is, I see him. You want some too? There you go. You know, practicing runes on skeletons, I think that might have been the most fun I've ever had in, uh, in college. Well, <laughs> uh, aside from a few choice expeditions, but um, I hear another one. But it's always so much fun. It's so satisfying to see bones go flying everywhere when they step on a rune. And when you're, um... Right, she was looking- really I was looking for swords, not short spears. That's alright. But when you're, uh, in your- in a college full of necromancers and, well, you know, other magic users, all types. But when half the school practices necromancy because the synod won't let them in, Practicing runes is quite fun. Well, this looks... eerie. I wonder what happened here besides several graves and a can. Hmm. Yep, and that's why I say runes are absolutely superior. <laughs> here we go. Ah, I didn't roll out of that one, and that hurt. Okay, well, um, I came that way, which means this is probably where I'm supposed to be going. Who knows? Oh, the watchtower? That looks rather disre disreputable. Disrepaired. Old, you know. Uh, who's this? Oh, look! I'm willing to bet that that is Falkreath. Alternatively, it's Riverwood and I've just completely run in the wrong direction, but you know what? We'll find out when we get there. 
Hello? You, uh, you all right out here? Everything okay? It happened so fast. One minute the dragon was there, the next it was gone. Everything was destroyed. Good day. Ah, uh, okay. You know, maybe I shouldn't drink the water around here. Hmm. Between that mad woman in the rags and that lady just now, I, uh... I'm starting to question the sanity of most people in Skyrim. That would certainly explain why there's a civil war going on. Oi. I wonder what this is. I don't think I've seen anything quite like this before. There's something in there. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, my eyes! What? What was that? Where'd it go? Did I just... Am I going crazy? No, there's something moving right through there. Yep, there it is. That's... It looks like a spriggan. A cow? Yeah, no. Oh, great. Ooh. Alright. And they get spriggans in Skyrim, which is perhaps the place that I would expect them least. Yep, definitely a spriggan. That's taproot. Well, that's, uh... <laughs> Alright. I wonder what she was guarding besides these massive stones. These look older than some of the architecture I've seen. Like, much, much older. Uh, let's not take the food. I don't know how long it's been here. Look like those two met an untimely end. Yeah, this place is rightly overgrown. Let's see, anything in here? <sighs> well, besides a skeleton? Lovely. Um... And a bunch of flowers, and there's a chest back here. All right. Gold. Take that. And a book. Catalog of weapon enchantments. Vivian Bren! Synod researcher. Absolutely. I'm always fun to see what the, uh, what the Synod are up to. And I should probably, uh, get going for Valkyrie because it's getting late and I'm getting tired and hungry and whatnot. Alright. Well that was interesting. Yes, I used to be uh, quite the enchanter myself. In fact, my uh, my thesis project was an enchantment project, uh, and I haven't touched the practice since, which is probably an oversight on my part. But it's really hard to uh, to get up to to come up with soul gems that are actually filled and are actually big enough to make an enchantment worth anything. There we go. Yep, this looks like Falkreath to me. Did you see a dog out there? Um. Ah, uh, no. I've seen some wolves, but no dogs. Why do you ask? Oh well. 
The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. Will do. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vamp. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? The growing what? I've not noticed any vampire menace. I just got here. You're not paying attention then, like almost everyone else around here. Haven't you heard that the Hall of the Vigilance was destroyed by vampires? They never took the threat seriously, and now they paid the price. Vigilance? Dawn Guard? What are you talking about? I've been here five minutes. The Vigilance Hours. mostly hunt down Daedra worshippers, which is why they got torn to pieces when they went up against vampires. That's why our leader, Isran, is re-establishing the Dawn Guard. Real serious vampire hunters. <sighs> Sorry. I'm not interested. I'm an archaeologist. That's what everybody says. Right up until they find their throat being ripped out by a pack of hungry vampires. If you change your mind and decide to join the fight before it's too late, talk to Isran at Fort Dawnguard, southeast of Riften. No, I'm good. I'll let you know if I change my mind, though. Sound like a bunch of zealots to me. Let's see, where's the inn? There's the inn! Is that guy following me? Not anymore. 